Hello everybody, this is Stringing Humor back for round three of Group D. Could be a pivotal round this for Group D. In this session, we're going to see Man going up against Broxy, Silver Knights going up against Xeno Slick Goku, and then Lad taking on Team South America. So yes, massive round this could be, especially for these two who have yet to get points. And um, well, one of these, well, these guys could all but secure qualification from Group D with a win. So let's find out how this round will play out. Okay then, in the red corner. Oh, we got the arid field. Haven't had this, haven't had this field much. Anyway, in the red corner for Marn, we got the T-Rex. T-Rex serving Marn well so far. It's pretty much a full powered T-Rex. Maximum strength. Earth and water. Okay, so this field is pretty bad news for Marn because this Brontigans will have the tight terrain disadvantage. That could be key. That could be key in this matchup. But I believe Proxy also has a water dinosaur and a Margosaurus. Which, even though it'll have the type advantage over the T Rex, it will get hit first because of the terrain disadvantage. Um, okay, so Mon below. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, we all know what this Margosaurus can do on its day. And if you don't know what it can do, just watch the last tournament and watch Diddy Darius' matches. <laughs> Back in at the Amargosaurus, we have the Steg, which does have terrain advantage, so... Ooh, does that give... Does that give Broxy the upper hand in this match? He's got the type advantage over the T-Rex, and he's got terrain advantage with the Steg, which will... Hit Brontekins with a crit should it come to that, because Bronte has the type dis terrain disadvantage. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Okay, first things first, let's get terrain advantage or disadvantage over with. Give the T-Rex his first hit. Yeah, not too much damage there. Oh, that's a tie. I think this is a Margie's charge type. Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, Maggie gets the first hit. And what the bl Oh, it's a power drain. Better get my button direct. Spamming abilities ready. Oh, spam the button. Suck the life out of the T Rex. And have a nice boot. Okay, so yeah, Broxy wants to swap the HPs in the red. And Mark, when HP is below half. Well, that's not below half yet. Okay, now it's below half. Time for the T-Rex to swap in the Brontekins. Which would be a very technical swap because Bront because the Amargosaur because the Amargosaurus will get well, oh, well I was what I'm trying what I was trying to say is that if he swaps in the Brontekins now with the Amargosaurus in play, the terrain disadvantage cancels itself out, so Brontekins won't get hit. But instead. The Futaba Cannon's gonna kill the T Rex. And Brontekins is gonna get hit anyway. But, as I said, because it's coming in to face Amargosaurus, there'll be no terrain disadvantage. Because he can't each other out. But, when that Stegosaurus comes in, it's gonna be. It's gonna do some major damage. <laughs> well, will it come in? Will it need to come in? I mean, the more Amargosaurus takes off this Brontekins... Actually, yeah. I think even at this point... Oh, and an Earth Barrier as well. Proxy completely on top. Oh, you, oh, you, that's not good. I think that actually guarantees Proxy the win. Even if Brontekins survives, which I don't think it will, I think that's going to guarantee Proxy a win. I killed it! Wow, well, um... <laughs> well, there's a bonus point win for Broxy. I didn't see that coming. Man looked like a boy. <laughs> didn't look like a man there. And it is Broxy taking four points from this match. How big could that be? Right, now, on to our second matchup. Right, let's see what this match has in store for us. Ooh... Right, in the red corner, as you can see by his hyperactive behaviour, we have got Spiny. 
and this is a very good field if you're Silver Knights. Perhaps this will be the day Silver Knights finally gets off the mark in this tournament. This Spiny will have terrain advantage, and it has type advantage over Zeno's first Dino as well. So we'll be getting off a paper. Backing up Spiny, we got you off the Cephalus. What's interesting is that both of our combatants in this matchup have a Uoplocephalus in second. So yeah, going to be really interesting this match. Okay, in the blue corner for Zeno Slick Goat, we have got Gygus with the Spectral Arm. Now, I suppose one benefit of having type disadvantage with Gygus is that Gygus will need more hits to kill Spine. More hits means that that bar will fill up, and he could, we could see some Spectral Armor. I mean, Zeno's been kind of unlucky with the Spectral Armor in the last two matches, but he gets the bar filled up, but he either wins or Gygus dies. And yet, back it up Gygus, as I said earlier, we got another Uoplocephalus, the Mirror Match. Well, they got different movesets, but yeah, Mirror Match. <laughs> Same dinosaur, different moves. Oh, what am I doing? Trade advantage. Ooh, it's an alpha dice. Oh, it's only a three. That's not too bad. Okay, so Zeno swaps below half Silver Knights in the red. Ooh, we got an Earth Barrier. A strong start from Silver Knights. Oh, that's a tie. Tie's Probably favour guy, yes. Filling that bar up, getting that spectral lancer ready. Oh, it's a crit though. It's a spiny crit, a Futaba cannon. I think Spiny begins some revenge on guy, guess. A strong start from Silver Knight, and he need Oh, he almost killed it. He needed it. And yep, there goes Gygus. Well, there goes Gygus. <laughs> no spectral armor today. Well, it doesn't look like there's going to be a win today for Zeno. Okay, there's a crit, but the Earth Barrier will eat it up, so yeah. But Zeno finally getting a hit in this match. Tech boost happening there. Oh no, defense boost, sorry. Ooh, it's a hit from Spiny though, it's a water sword. Oh, here comes Futama Cannon again. But this time it's a tie. The ties will suit Spiny all day long. Another tie. Well, if this is a six, it's game over. Okay, it's a two. It's a two. It's not too bad. But what is bad is Zeno's situation in this match. Oh, another one. Will it be a six this time? Oh, it's, oh yeah, that's dead. <laughs> well, um, that could have gone better for Zeno's flick go. Ooh. But Silver Knights... Finally getting off the mark in this tournament with a big bonus point win and keeping the pressure on lad. As for Zeno Slick Goku, well, kind of felt like a lead balloon there. And what's interesting is that both guys in this group who won their first two matches have now lost. That definitely opens the door for these two in the next matchup. Well, it's a must win for lad. Oh, interesting, we're on the volcano field. So that's no terrain advantage or disadvantage to worry about for but five of our combatants. Right, in the red corner for lab, we got the Indosuchus. Indosuchus, it's kind of been Indo, Indon't Sucus so far. <laughs> Backing it up, we got the Megdosaurus. The Suntan Sauropod. And this thing has done, yeah, it has done all right actually. It's kind of been carrying the flag for Team Lad. 
Okay then, in the blue corner for Team North America, we got the Crisis type Storacosaurus. Well, Team North America aren't really in a crisis yet in this tournament, but Lance certainly is. And a win here for Team North America would actually cement, would give him a strong grip on the top four. And I think, yeah, a bonus point win, I think I'll put him top of group D. Backing up the Storac, oh, we got a Uteraptor. A dinosaur that a lot of people used to use in my tournaments, but nobody decided to use it this time. So I'm putting it in Team North America. Well, this is massive. I mean, Lad's team is kind of like a wild child team. And we've seen that before with, with Adolf Adams' team. And he did pretty well in my last tournament. But this time, it just hasn't happened for Lad. Ooh, went for the crit. Didn't get it. Badoosh. That's another tie. Ooh, nervous times for Lad. I mean, if they... If they lose this match, they will end up six points adrift of Man, who will current, who will then, who will sit in fourth place. Ooh, that's a crit, and that's just the start. Lad would want. Ooh, and a cyclone as well. A much better start from Lad this time. Can he, can he take advantage of it? Well, the Storaka will be attempting to swap. And he's getting the swap. In comes the Uteraptor. Okay, his HP's not in the red, so I don't think the Crisis effect will activate. So, normal damage will be dealt here. It's not a decent amount of damage, though. I mean, Strike the Source is very well rounded. Get off the electric charge as well. Ooh. And Team North America taking the lead. Oh, but Lad taking it back. With a Mayfly. Would have liked it on the Strachnosaurus, because this thing is strength type, but he'll take the Mayfly nonetheless. And you have to say, this is much more like it from Lad. Oh, look at that, almost killed it. Almost killed the Uteraptor. Well, wasn't even really close, but got his HP in the red. Well, a bonus point win would be very welcome for Lad. Get him right back in this group. And a bonus point win could be what he gets. It's a stomping hammer. The Uteraptor's going to get stomped into the ground. Get his legs split apart as well. And die. And the Strachosaurus gets hit as well. Won't count Team South Amer North America out though. This Strachosaurus does have the type advantage over the uh, Nemectosaurus. So I wouldn't count them out yet. It's a tie. Another tie. It's all suited lad on the brink of their first win of the tournament. Oh, but it's a crit. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's killed it. Electric charge. Ooh, this is, this is nail biting. Even though lad has two dinosaurs and, and Team South North America down to Strachosaurus. It's, a hit but I don't think it's gonna be enough oh wow not even close <laughs> oh I got the hit but it wasn't enough oh it's a crit is it going wrong for that oh is it gonna go wrong they can't throw this away they can't afford to Oh, is it time? Oh, this is so close. Okay, the odds are in Lad's favour here. Oh, they throw that! <laughs> stunned. Absolutely stunned. I thought Lad had it in the bag. I really thought he's going to get it. He's going to do it, but... Oh, the, the, the Starachosaurus snatched the win away from Lad. Oh, that's, that's, you know when you watch like a major tournament and that one moment that goes against you and it costs you your place in the knockout round? I feel like that was the moment for Lad. That, that is probably, 
gonna be it. But I will say he does get a losing bonus point, which is crucial. But yeah, a losing bonus point is crucial. But oh, that is agonizing for lad. Absolutely agonizing. Right, let's have a look at the group. Well, that's our group D looks, ladies and gentlemen. And well, we got Broxy at the top on nine points again. What I would say is a, a win, a decent win over Zeno Slut Goku. Oh no, a very good win over Man, sorry. Zeno above Team North America by virtue of the fact that they beat them in the second round. And then we have Man in fourth place on six points. Silver Knights getting off the mark with a win on four points. And then Lad on the solitary losing bonus point. And yeah, that losing bonus point could be crucial because he's, that puts him only five points adrift of Man and six adrift of these two. So even though he does have a mountain to climb, it's, it's still mathematically possible. He could still do it. Right, round four, I think he's... Well, he's playing Silver Knights and... Well, this is it, isn't it? This is a massive game. Well, for both, really, because if Silver Knights loses, then he could be cut adrift. But, yeah, if, well, if Lad loses that, then he's definitely out. There's no there's no escape. Lad has to win. But he doesn't need a bonus... He won't need a bonus point wins. If he can get two wins and hope that Man doesn't get any more points, then Lad can sneak through, but... It's going to be really, really tough. And yeah, I think, as I said earlier, when you have a moment like that, where you're on the brink of winning and you don't close it out, you feel like that is the moment where your chance has gone. And I feel like that is it, was it. But yeah, things looking good for Broxy. And, and the, well, things looking good for these three. And yeah, it's going to end this session. So I hope you enjoyed. It was an absolute tense round for Group D. And until then, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.